Hello everyone, it is I, Alyssa Leitkin, and today we're going to talk about Yaroia Lepatica. Everyone knows that climate change is becoming, like, the problem to solve. One of the big reasons that climate change is happening is because of human activity, and that means things like using oil at, in different extents. Usually what we do is we, we take the petroleum and we burn it, and so it turns into carbon dioxide. And so it's building up in the atmosphere. It's like a big blanket, a big sweaty blanket. So one of the ways to limit climate change is to use um, renewable biofuels. And the Aroia Lepatica is just like the up and coming on the cool list. It can take sugar and you mix it with the Aroia. And the Aroia Lepatica will just turn it into oil if you treat it right. Or you can give it some oil byproduct and it'll just make more oil. And that's just like almost magic. So one of the cool things about Eurolia is that it is like really safe. It is already found in a whole bunch of foods we eat. Eurolia is also, it's, um, it grows at a very just like room temperature, but it can't grow above 33 degrees Celsius, which is important because human bodies are 37 degrees Celsius. It's way too hot in here for Eurolia to grow. So the American Food and Drug Administration has called it generally regarded as safe. One of the disadvantages of using um, Eurolia though is obviously, um, so any food that you do give to Eurolia, you can't also eat. You can't have your cake for the microbes and also eat it. That's not gonna work out so well. So the other problem, right now Eurolia Zapotica cannot produce oil in quantities high enough to compete with petroleum because we use a lot of petroleum. Uh, Euroia really only accumulates oil when it's stressed out. It's like the same. And right now we have a whole lot of infrastructure set up to work with petroleum. My car runs on petroleum fuel and currently when you grow your, um, when you try and extract the oil from like all of the cell bits at the end of the day. It's not a high enough yield to compete with petroleum at the moment. So there's a long way to go before Eurovia Lepatica can replace petroleum as a source of energy, but I believe it can be done. I made this as a part of the Science Ambassadors Scholarship because I am a poor college student and I would like to continue doing science things. I, I found all this information from sources from the internet and uh, I'm gonna list them here.